Hi, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can, you know, set up your local area network and wireless area network using the FortiGate device, the Forti Switch, and the Forti AP, and how you can also apply security using those devices. In in my lab here, I have the FortiGate device, I have the Forti Switch, and I have a Forti AP to set up the environment. Let's do this just a minute, and let me show you. Um, now we have um, a diagram that we're going to use. So we have this FortiGate device here, and our FortiGate is connected to the Forti switch, and it's also connected to the internet uh, gateway, which we're going to use um, in this uh, scenario as well. Then uh, our LAN users is connect. Our LAN user is connected to the Forti switch uh, directly uh, for LAN connections and all that. Then we also integrate our Forti AP with the Forti switch and the Forti gate serving as a controller, as an AP controller for the Forti AP. Then our wireless uh, local area network user is also connected to the Forti AP to connect, to consume, you know, uh, traffic, internet traffic and all that. Then we'll be able to provision internet um, security uh, for our users using the Forti gate and, and all that. So, for protections, for for internet uh, security protections and ETM and all that, and we'll be able to have a secure connection uh, within the local area network and wireless area network. So let's um, go further. So let's start with the fourth key device. On the fourth key device, we are we, we need to configure our uh, two two interfaces. The first interface has to do with the one interface, and the second interface has to do with the um, with the LAN interface. So this we we'll use port two for port two for uh, one interface, then port one for LAN interface. Then we we'll bridge forty AP with the LAN interface so that they can have the same IP address. So let's continue. So let's configure for port one, port two. So on the forty gate device, you. Um, logged in, come to network interface, and on port one, we give it an IP address. Uh, we we'll start with the alias as LAN, role as LAN as well, which is port one. Then give it a, an IP address, which is uh, any IP address that is suitable to the environment. 72.16.18.1. It's two no slash twenty four, so slash twenty four network. Then I want this to also want to enable HTTP, HTTPS, pinging, and all that. All the as administrative administrative access on the LAN port. So let's enable DSCP uh, server. On this DSCP server, we have this IP address ranging from two 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 five four. Then um also want to enable device detection for our LAN users and um, leave every other thing as default and click OK. So we have our LAN, our, our port one as LAN, then port two, our port two should be our one, which is uh, internet, uh, name it one. Then on this end, we want to remove all every other uh, administrative access apart from Pinging and um, don't need the DSC, DSC server so we uh, so that we can receive. Let's leave that this so that we can receive IP address from the internet gateway. Then um, every other thing should be left as. Then um, what we want to do is now to you know plug our cables. We have uh, the two interfaces plugged. 
which is port one. Now, port one is being plugged, and we have one DCP client, uh, which is check. Then we have the port two as one interface being plugged as well. And port two has been given an IP address of 192.168.0.188. The next thing is to configure our static route, um, you know, default route to the internet. So using port two, uh, which is this, then can take dynamic so that the fourth gate, uh, the fourth gate can determine the gate we're using is dynamic um, ability. So another thing is to set up the DNS. On this, we have set up our DNS. Um, this is a primary DNS at 8.8. .8. We we'll see that the fourth gate can reach the internet with the DNS that we've set up using 53. Then click apply, see. And um, another thing we want to do is to you know, set up a firewall policy. So we need to set up a firewall policy for our FortiGate, for our users, most especially the LAN users that we are connecting uh, to the local area network. So internet access, this is port one. We have port two also being configured. Source, we'll take source as all for now. Mm -hmm. Destination um, as all. Then services as all for now. Then we we'll also enable our NAT as uh, using the outgoing interface address. Then we can now set up the security profiles we want to use. We can use the default profiles uh, for now. Mm -hmm for the security profiles on the fort gate uh, devices using uh, the default profiles fort gate then we can also for log we need to allow all sessions and click ok so now we have uh, port one uh, we have our first firewall policies on the on the network this is our LAN interface then let's connect uh, a user to, to the switch interface. But before we do that, let's log into our 40 switch. Our 40 switch by default is 192.168.1.99, but I've changed it to um, 100.99. Then let's log in uh, to our 40 switch. So logging into the 40 switch um, device, we'll see that the 40 switch comes, you know, Pretty fine, pretty well. All is fine. One thing you want to do is to also give the fourth switch an host name. Uh, host name, then give it a um, switch. Uh, admin uh, switch one. Admin switch one. So we update it. The host name has been updated. Then the next thing is to check the interfaces. So by default, this is a layer two, layer three device. So anything you connect to uh, the device will take the, the, the DSP server request and relay it to uh, the host that is connected. So coming to the switch, we have physical ports um, of the switch. You can see everything is connected. Uh, everything is intact and all that. Port one has been connected, which is the one which we connected from the fourth gate device. Then we want to connect uh, our users, one of our host users, um, to the LAN device. So let me connect one of the a device to port two. So um, you can see that we've been able to plug a device on port three uh, into our LAN, and is the speed here is one gig. If, the place is full. Then when we come to the fourth gate device, let's check uh, the IP address of that one. So we can also bring up a DSCP monitor um, on this end, which is here for, the, for our dashboard. So here we could see that we have from the LAN device, we have um, this IP address, which is 172.16.18.3. The IP address of our switch on this LAN is 172.16.18.2. Then we see that we have a device connected on the LAN interface. And um, because we already have a firewall device, 
um, a firewall, uh, a firewall policy in place for internet access. We try and you know, let's try and browse from um, the, the the connected device and we'll check the log and report and see internet connection to log and reports and uh, log traffic. We have to see that uh, our local area network has been you know configured. So we we'll see what three um eighteen dot three trying to have access to most of these um, URLs using this application and going to this destination. Then uh, we have been able to successfully set up local area network using the fort gate and the forty switch. Then the nice thing for us is to you know integrate uh forty AP into you know into the system so that our wireless wireless uh, local area network users also have access to the internet. So now the next thing is to plug 40 AP. So the 40 gig device will be react as a controller for our 40 AP. And one of the things we need to enable on the interface of this LAN interface, on um, LAN one interface is, uh, so we need to enable, uh, security fabric on LAN 1 interface so that the 40 AP can be discovered by the 40 gates, uh, you know, automatically. Then what else? We need to also enable something. Mm -hmm. can also enable automatically authorize uh, devices and also check it on. So, so we'll go straight so the uh, Wi-Fi and switch controller, then manage 40 AP. Uh, we've seen uh, that one of the AP has been added and we need to just um, authorize it, come to authorization and authorize. Once it's been authorized, uh, the 40 gate will onboard the 40 AP uh, automatically. Uh, 40 gate has been able to successfully onboard uh, access point or we have it um here as it is so one thing you want to do is to double click um the ap then um on over override radio band one enable the band 2.4 gigahertz then the transmit power enable it leave it as a uh, default the ssid will still come back to ssid just check this then on the radio 2 as well the 5 gigahertz Enable all these outputs is there as well. So click OK. So let's go straight to SSID and set up our SSID. Under SSID, let's create new SSID that users are made to connect to. So give it a name. I will give it cyber points. So uh, what we want to do is to uh, bridge. Uh, the SSID to our existing LAN that we've created with the switch. So we'll, we need to bridge it so that the users can also have the same IP address. Uh, the wireless user can have the same IP address with the LAN users. So we use the mode bridge for this, then name it cyber points or any other name, check this. Uh, the security mode we're going to use is uh, WAP2 personal. We cannot, the FortiGate supports other mode of um, other mode of authentication, like radius authentication, enterprise transition, and all that. But we're using the WAP2 personal, which has to do with uh, imputing your password, like setting a passphrase for the SSID. So let's set the passphrase for the SSID. So set the uh, passphrase for the SSID. I leave every other thing as default um, for now. Then let's click OK. Uh, we'll go back to the manage 40 AP. And, you know, on the AP that we um, onboarded, just checking, um, you can set the SSIDs as, as manual or bridge or anything, but I'm, I'm leaving it as manual to include the SSID I just created, which is cyber points. And I'll do the same for the 5.0 as well, which is cyber point. Okay. What this means is that the same firewall policies we've created here will be applicable you know, to the wireless users because it's in bridge mode. 
Then the next thing is to come to 40 AP profiles. Then looking at this profile, this is the profile of the AP setting up. So we also want to ensure that this profile has the SSID included. So coming to this SSID transmit mode, we also include this here, cyber point, then coming straight down as well, include it in the second uh, band, which is cyber point and click. Okay, so we have a 40 AP um, setup for wire local users using the you know, existing network and all that. So I want to connect straight um, to the Wi-Fi from my phone. And you are going to see, um, you're going to see, you know, the usage and the traffic from the wireless users. So from the wireless users, I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi and I'm going to show you this. So I've connected a device to the um, 40 AP. How I'm going to know, it's coming to Wi-Fi client. You can see a connected user using 172.16.18.5, the MAC address, and the SSID connected to his um, cyber point and all that. Then um, to be sure that the user is having access to the internet, we also need to check the log and forwarding report and see uh, the user's traffic um, to the internet. Uh, because we breached the 40 AP to the existing network, these firewall policies uh, would still stand because um, the wire user will be using the existing uh, network and file and firewall policies that we've already created in uh, with for the local area uh, users. So coming to log and reports, looking at log forward, you can see that our user um, is having access to the internet. You can see most of uh, the sites that is being visited. So it's very simple and very straightforward to set up all this uh, by default. And I just want you to know, I just want to know if this is helpful, uh, drop your comment and if you need any help, put it in the comment section and we're going to help. Thank you and look forward to another video on 40 link Mac, which I'm going to create in a few days from now.